This so now, conference will now be recorded. You can fetch the data from the backend tables where in the query tab of the report definition rule, we can mention the select class columns. Select class means select column one, column two, column three, you'll write query, right? So that select class columns you're going to mention here. Columns means properties, right? Every column in the backend will be one property here in PRBC. So these are the properties that I wanted to fetch. Okay. Now here you go with scroll down here you have filter conditions what do you mean by filter conditions where class you want any where class so i wanted to select all these where state code state code starts with where is it starts with a means it will fetch only state codes which are starting with the alphabetic character a like this you can add more than one condition add one more condition where state name ends with let's say you can give anything ends with something now what is the logical operation between these two by default what is that you got where condition where column one is equal to something column two is equal to something by default you want end operation so you want r operation then what you will do remove this and write down r f1 and Sorry, R, F2, and F1. Like this, you can write any logical where condition logic. You can go and write in this place. So where can each condition will have a label. These labels can be used for writing the condition logic. End conditions, R conditions, like this. End or R, something like this. Everyone clear? Depends on your requirement, that one. So like this, where conditions can be called can be added here so if you go to next tab charts by default charts is displayed no nothing is there here now you go to query tab at least if you have one summary column count let's say this is summary column go to charts now now you got include chart you click on include chart so i want this type of chart this is the chart i want Otherwise, you can take this type of chart. Okay. And here, state code, I'm going to choose. And where is it? Then, particular node. State code column, drag and drop here. And another column, which is drag and drop x axis, y axis. And save this and then run this. What will be the display structure now? It will be displayed like chart format. Okay. So that is available. These charts will be available only when you have at least one summary column. Without summary column, you cannot display charts at all. This is clear, everyone. Now, if you go to report viewer tab, in the report viewer tab, see by default the report that you create will be accessible to other operators when they log into their portals. They will be able to access the report definition rules from reports category. By default, your report will not be available here. So this is called report viewer or report browser. This, this portion it is OTP available in Pega. If manager login, they will not see designer studio. They will see this portal. They can go to reports and they can schedule reports. They can execute reports. They can export the data of reports like that. They can access it. If you want your report to be available here in the report browser, after your report is created by the developer, they have to go to report to our tab. And what is this display in report browser checkbox to be selected. Once you select this, Analyze performance. All this is report types means you have category of reports some reports for analysis purpose Some reports of pending work updates some reports of completed work updates. like this You can have one of the categories you can make your report available in one of the category When manager go into their portal when they go to reports They should be able to see the categories available here and from all reports are from category of reports They should be able to access it So they can search with a report name also. If they go to all reports, they can see all reports here. Categories you can display here if you want to display. Then from one of the category, they can access the report definition rules. If any report definition they wanted to run, they will click on open. Then report will be executed. If it has data, that will be displayed here in a list view table format or in a pie chart format accordingly, how you have designed that. So this is about 
report viewer display in report browser tab okay and now apart from this display report filters you are aware of it right what is that when this it is displayed like a table format look at here so this is also report this is the report filter means here you will be getting one filter icon you will get where you can perform a search i'll show you how what is the filter this is filter okay in the filter you can if you select the checkbox you will get this option for every column whichever that you select you can go ahead and filter this if you type business can go ahead and filter with the name something like that so this is filters facility and here you go with apart from filters edit columns is not required expand all groups is not required now data access app. if they go to data access app a report can access the data from one table or it can access data from more than one table if you, generally in any sql programming if you are accessing the data from multiple tables you need to go with joins joins can be defined under data access tab there are different types of joins which we will be learning later going forward everyone clear pages and classes anyway you know parameters you will be learning going forward after this class okay this is clear everyone so these are the provisions available main options available in report definition rule everyone clear sir yeah we have data limitations go ahead here how, how many records it can fetch how many records i have told you the other day how many records maximum number of records to export is 10,000 maximum number of records to retrieve is 500 i want to change it i can just go ahead and edit this check out and if i give 10,000 here how many will be retrieved 10,000 if you if i give 2,000 here 2,000 maximum is 10,000 in Pega, maximum number of records you can fetch is 10,000. I told you, right, this is OBJ browse in the backend. Uh, obviously, in the background, OBJ browse method. OBJ browse, what is the maximum number of records? Same is applicable here. Here, you have a parameter of maximum records in OBJ browse. You can give the value that you want. By default, report has 500. You can give different number by checkout and down. Okay, everyone clear? So now, report definition rule, where would you create? See, in the report definition rule, you will be accessing the columns in comparison with OBJ Browse. OBJ Browse, what are the parameters available inside OBJ Browse? What are the parameters name. inside OBJ Browse you expand? What are the parameters? Class name and page name. Class name, page name. Page name. Okay. And what else? Maximum number of records, select class columns and where class also there itself. Now, what is the class name there? from which table so you are trying to fetch that yeah. means your activity with obj browse can be there in any class activity is there with obj browse in class a it can mention like obj browse class c means it can fetch from any other table unlike that report definition rule should be created within the same table class from which you are fetching the data because inside report definition rule it is not going to ask you from which table you want to fetch report definition rule should be created within table class itself i want to fetch the data from states table then where should i create report definition states class i want to fetch the data using report definition from cities table then i should cre create the report definition in cities class suppose i wanted to fetch the data from states cities and countries these three classes together i want to fetch i have to create report definition in one of the class and make a join with other classes clear so this is the basic information about report definition rules that I wanted to give you. And this theory video, I will post it in uh, our uh, YouTube channel. I'll notify you. This conference will now be recorded. See, where we can call this report definition rule? This report definition rule can be called from drop down. If you double click on drop down, source clipboard page we have seen, right? Apart from that, you will see another option called report definition you can call report definition rule as a source for populating the drop down that is one approach and report definition rule can be called in user interface section where is it section so just for your information all this here you go section if you open the section in the section you have one layout that is table layout table format you are aware of right so in the table layout if you double click 
for the table layout you can go ahead and i'm sorry you can go ahead and give report definition report definition whatever the columns are there those properties you will add in the section so it will display like a table format in the ui suppose if you wanted to display report in a section as a format of charts you can use chart control so whichever the chart format that you have designed in report definition rule like that it is going to be visible in the user interface so report definition rule can be used as a source for a drop down for populating it it can be displayed in ui by using table layout it can be displayed in ui by using chart controls everyone clear so these are different places where you can refer report definition rule other than this in an activity also you can call report definition rule which we will discuss later not now okay everyone clear so far so now let's go ahead and see how to create our own report